Hey everyone, I wanted to do a video on protection shields. Um, especially for newer people who get kind of overwhelmed about what to do, when to do it, how to do it. You know, in the spiritual world, um, once you start tapping into that side, there is so many different avenues. And I am going to tell you that there is not just one correct way. There's several correct ways. The main one is the one that your intuition tells you to do. Now, you can come across videos who are like, okay, you have to do this and you have to spin around three times and be under the moon and throw leaves up and all this and that, okay? Yeah, that's fun if you want to do it that way. But there's some people, like myself, <laughs> who likes to do simple. So it's like, um, what it all comes down to is you getting to know and building a relationship with your higher self, building and getting to know um uh, and having a relationship with the spiritual realm. So some of us connect with our ancestors. Some of us haven't even gotten that far yet. Okay. I know a year ago, I wasn't connected to my ancestors, but I am now. And it's like, it's been, um, keep in mind that this is not, um, a race. This is something that you build over time. It takes practice. It takes enlightening. You will learn things along the way. You will make mistakes, but out of those mistakes, you get knowledge of what to do and what not, to, you know, what to do and what not to do. So I'm going to try and cover some of the simple basics of protecting yourself and you can choose how you want to do it, when you want to do it. It's entirely up to you. But it is just really about you building up that relationship with your higher self and your angels, your divine, and however that connection is. There is nobody outside of yourself that can truly tell you how to connect. Nobody outside of yourself that can truly give you a cookie cutter way of doing things. You really have to pay attention to how you want to do it, how you feel about it, and what it does for you. Okay? So keep in mind that when it comes to spirit guides, they are never going to tell you anything negative. They are going to push you. They are going to challenge you. They are going to make you do what is for your greater good. They will never degrade you. They will never be demeaning. If you hear any kind of degrading voices or anything that's demeaning, protect yourself. That could also be yourself talking to yourself. You know, it could be ego. It could be self-sabotage. But if there is anything imposing, speaking of, um, I'm an angel, but you're stupid, you know, that type of thing, that's not an angel. That is absolutely not an angel. And, you know, protection. Um, the simple things that I keep around myself, um, these are just a little bit, <laughs> this is just a little small bit of crystals that I have. So just to go into it and you can kind of write these down and you can see how they are, um, exactly how they would be for you. Um, I picked these crystals out by touch. I had to go to a store and I had to touch them in order for me to take them home. After that, that's when I looked them up and I look up to see what the meanings are and then I connect to why I was drawn to them. Okay, so, and a couple of these were actually gifted to me. And, um, actually, one, I bought this one online. So, I think it was this one, yep. 
these two. Yeah, both of these I bought online. So, this is Smoky Quartz. It's a protective stone, and it guards you from, um, like, any kind of negative energy. Citrine is a protective stone, and it's also really good with love type stuff. It's good with self-love. Protects your heart. Amethyst. Look at this. I bought this at the store, at this crystal store. I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. So, amethyst. He. <laughs> oh. um, it's a very good protective crystal. Uh, ancestors are tied to amethyst. So, it's like if you're getting in contact with your ancestors, Chris, uh, amethyst is the way to go. This is also amethyst, and I picked that one out. This one was gifted to me. It is selenite. Selenite cleanses itself. So this is not something that you have to put out in the sun unless you want to. You don't have to put it out in the sun or the moonlight to charge it. It automatically charges itself. But it's entirely up to you on whether you want to do that or not. For me, I actually do it from time to time. Um, you know, I will, when I set my crystals out, I will set it out from like morning um, and then I'll let it go like a full 24 hour cycle. Um, and I like to do the full moon if I'm going to do it that way. This is black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is a very protective crystal. Like when you go out in public, um, I know that hematite, I don't have my hematite. Oh, yes, I do. Ha, hematite. Hematite is very balancing and it is a very protective crystal itself. Um, so is obsidian. Now on this pendulum that I have made, this is rainbow obsidian. But if you get black obsidian, it is just as potent as black tourmaline. So I also have selenite plates that I put my crystals on for cleansing. And I, I do that often. Like little selenite plates like this. You can set one crystal on it. And it's cleansing whatever crystals go on it like that. Um, I do wear a lot of crystal jewelry that I uh, purchase from um, small business owners. So this is one way of protecting yourself. If this is how you choose to do it. Where you have crystals around you. You wear them. You know, whatever the case may be. Another way of doing it is, boom. Now, I need to get another sage, but this is my white sage right here. Palo Santo, uh, lemongrass, rosemary, and one of these are rosemary, and one of them is, uh, shit, I don't remember. I got it in a bundle. My sister got it for me. Got it in a bundle, but I forgot what this one is. But they have them like protective type. The main one, as you can see, that I use is the white sage. And after I use white sage, I cleanse the room with white sage. I also do tarot card readings. So I also sage my uh, cards and I put my selenite stone on top of them. You know, just to keep them nice and cleansed and the energy to be balanced. Um, after I get done saging, then, okay, now, when it comes to sage, sage clears out everything. Sage will clear out good energy and bad energy. Okay, so it, it cleanses the room and it gives it a clean slate. So once you do that, you come back in and light the Palo Santo. Now, the Palo Santo is bringing back in only positive, okay? So, that's another good way of bringing in good vibes, where you're using the sage first, and then Palo Santo second. Now, as far as the lemongrass, that's just good for, you know, like, if you know that somebody's coming over, or, you know, it, it's actually a pretty fast burner, so you want to be careful with, with it, because it will burn fast. But, you know, you light it, it smells pretty good, 
but you have to be careful with it because it will burn fast. But my favorite go-tos are Sage and Palo Santo. So with that being said, the first line of protection that I use for myself, um, and I keep myself protected always, is um, another thing that people do while I'm thinking about it, candles. Um, there are protection shields that you can do or protection spells. I don't necessarily do spells. Um, I don't knock anybody who does, but I have a different view on spells uh, than most people do. And it's just really going to be to your own discernment. If you want to try spells, make sure you are doing the research that you need to do for yourself. Always go by what it is that you want to do. Okay. So when it comes to what I do for myself on protection, protecting, I call upon my divine. That is the first point in contact. I go straight to the head chief. Okay. So I go straight to the head chief and um, I ask for a white pillar of light. And I'm doing this while I'm meditating. So the white layer of light, I, I envision myself being encased in this white layer, this white pillar of light. So outside that white pillar of light, I am asking for a violet flame of protection outside of that white pillar. The reason why I ask for the white pillar first and then the violet flame of protection is because whenever you are asking for protection or whenever you're asking for positive energy, you have to keep in mind that lower vibrational beings are going to be attracted to something that is higher vibrational. This is why we get tapped out. This is why we, you know, this is why our energy gets uh, zapped. So I'm protecting myself under this white pillar and I'm, and I'm, I'm picturing it to be like a glass pillar that is just like a white pillar. Okay. So I'm picturing myself to be enveloped in that and then the violet flame of protection. And then I ask for my guardian angels to stand outside of that violet flame of protection. And I ask that only positive can be allowed in. I ask my spirit guides to keep the negative out and only allow the positive in. Outside of my spirit guides, I ask for Archangel Michael to come in. Okay, so I ask Archangel Michael to protect my spirit guides and also be an extra set of protection of anything that could be incoming. I also ask for a mirror shield of protection. Now, this is what Archangel Michael is guarding for me, which is the mirror shield of protection. So my intent for the mirror shield is any type of energy that is coming towards me, it's either going to be positive or it's going to be negative. It's going to be healthy or it's going to be toxic. Okay. So I ask for a mirror shield of protection where if somebody is sending me positive vibes, I ask that the positive vibes is allowed to be filtered through to where I can receive it. If somebody is sending me negative vibes, it is to hit the mirror. And I ask for Archangel Michael to grab that negative energy, bless it, hug it, put love into it, and return it back to sender. 
I am a firm believer of karma. I am a firm believer that whatever energy you place into the world is what you are going to get back. Okay? So, if somebody sends you energy, that is energy transferal. That energy is already intended for you. So, if you take their negative energy and you throw it back to the sender, what are you doing? You are, therefore... Falling into a lower vibrational state and you are taking that negative energy and you are throwing it back at somebody. You're going to receive that karma back. That's one thing that people don't seem to understand. You're going to receive that karma back um, if you send out anything that is bad. Even if it came to you in a bad state, you are to heal it and send it out because you are sending out good vibrational healed energy energy. And if anybody is sending you fucked up energy anyway, guess what? They need the love. They need the understanding. The whole point of doing this is just not only to protect yourself, but you want to do what's good for mankind. You want to do what's good for the environment. You want to do what's good for people across the world. You don't want to just be like, okay, the goodness stops with me. No. If you're an empath, if you're a light worker, if you are, um, an educator on some, on some point, this is your job to help turn the world around, to help make them see that love is the way and not hate, not ego, not pain, not hurt. Love is the way, you know? So it's taking anybody's resentment and you're turning it into something positive and you're sending it right back to them. So that way they can be blessed like you are. You're sending somebody your blessings, but you, you took their energy. You had Archangel Michael heal it and you had it sent back to them. So that's going to be a good thing for you in the spiritual realm. So keeping in mind that, you know, these people that are resentful, they may hate what you're doing. They may be jealous. They may be this. They may be that. But they need love. There's some reason why they are like that. Something has happened in their life of why they are like that. It doesn't mean you have to agree with it, but at least understand that in order for them to throw pain like that, they had pain done to them. They were hurt on some level. Okay? They have some kind of insecurity. You're not taking it away from them. It's just that you're taking their energy and you're just kind of like, you know what? I'm going to bless your energy and I'll throw it back to you in that way. So... After I get done with the mirror shield that Archangel Michael is protecting me with, I also call in my spirit guides to help with the protection. I call in uh, my higher self to help with this protection, to give me the knowledge, to give me the love, to give me the energy that flows through me in order to be honest in order to make my point in a loving way, no matter how bitchy I sound, it always comes from a good place. And being true to myself, first and foremost, to give me self-love. And I ask for all this to be packaged. And I ask to be protected forever and always. I always say, you know, I always ask for this protection and at the end, I always place in forever and always. So that way, this is an ongoing protection shield. And then when I leave the house, I ask that, you know, I have my protection team. You can put whoever you want to on your protection team. They are meant to be like in one of those tight spots. If you, um, if you suffer from anxiety, if you suffer from depression, if you suffer from panic attacks, um, PTSD, I actually have all these things, okay? So it's like when I go out in public, I freak the fuck out. And so it's like I have my protection team, you know, um, I have 
uh, certain archangels and you can place whoever you want to research for yourself who you want on your protection team. I'm not going to go through the long list of my protection team, but if you set your intentions and you meditate, you connect with your higher self, you connect with your angels that you want on your protection team and you assign them the, the position and and you ask them to please, when you call upon protection team, this is who I'm calling. This is my protection team. So that way, when you go out in public, you can ask protection team, please protect me. And it instantly comes in. So you can set an intention with certain words and your angels will instantly come in and protect you. So it's like, um, I have one for my vehicle. I have one for... Even the public places that I visit, please protect me while I'm out in public and also p protect the place I am going into, you know, so that way nothing bad happens. You know, protection is everything. And this will change your life. This will absolutely change your life. You can write down these things, save this video and, you know, write down things that I have said and take things one step at a time and look at how different your life changes. Look at how different things go for you and how you don't feel as zapped. You don't feel as uh, irritated. You don't feel as cranky. You don't feel as, you know, because most of the time we are taking in other people's energy. If you are around energy zappers, protect yourself. Protect yourself. Absolutely protect yourself all the time. So that way you're not absorbing what they are trying to project. And when you do this, it will be easier for you to actually help people. Like if someone's talking to you about something that they're going through and you are actually protected, you look at it from a different standpoint. If you are an empath, that means you want to help fix shit. <laughs> And so it's like when you're protected, it gives you a different standpoint. You're like, okay, I'm going to listen to what they're saying, but I'm not absorbing their feelings. It's their job to sort out their feelings. Right now, they just need a sounding board. They don't need somebody to fix it for them. And if they ask you to fix it for them, they're doing too much. You have to place your boundaries. You have to set your boundaries. And this is a good way to do it. So it just totally takes baby steps, you know, um, researching different types of protection shields. There's a rainbow shield of protection. There is, you know, I actually like the rainbow shield of protection because it's everything, you know, so it's for healing. It's for, there's health, you know, Archangel Raphael is about protecting you from disease, about protecting you from any kind of illness. And that's mentally or physically, now, keep in mind that you can get under a, you know, somebody can psychically be attacking you to where you're feeling it in your body. You can feel the fatigue. You can feel it when they hit you. And, you know, having this kind of protection shield that I just got done talking about helps with that so much to where you can just totally um, disengage from the negativity. So... I hope this I hope this video helps somebody. I really do. I hope this video helps somebody. And I hope that it kind of enlightened people that you don't have to do like a whole shitload of stuff. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. Even if you're not doing crystals. Now these are, you know, I have accumulated these like over years. It's not like I go out and buy a whole crap load of crystals with money I don't have. You know, some of these were actually gifted to me. And, you know, it's like, um, and some of the crystals, they don't cost that much either, but it just depends. It really does depend on what it is, what you find and stuff like that. Um, or even if you don't like burning stuff, just know that you can just connect with your angels and you can just sit there with that. You absolutely can. So, I mean... When it comes to intentions of, you know, gift giving on your altar and things like that, that's always a good thing to do. But you don't have to do it every single time you're asking for a protection shield. And if you do the mirror protection shield, like what I was telling you, 
and you put the forever and always after, you know, when you're done with your intention, you don't have to do it as often, you know? You don't have to do it as often because you're constantly protected because of those keywords, forever and always. So, and make sure also you give gratitude to your angels for being there. Give them gratitude every day for being there. Connect with them every day and tell them how much you appreciate them for being there. You know, build a really good relationship with them and, you know, they, they love you. Let them be there. Call upon them. They want to be there for you. So I really hope that this helps somebody. Oh, one more thing. If you carry crystals, if you find pocket crystals, like when I need balancing, hematite, this is my go-to. I literally will take this crystal and I'll put it in my pocket. But keep in mind that if you hold it in your hand, the left hand is for receiving the benefit of the crystal. The right hand is for giving out the energy of the crystal. So it's like if you are around people and they are, you know, feeling some kind of way or whatever, you can put this crystal in your hand and you can literally expel the energy from the crystal. Like it, it comes from you going out into your environment that you're around. So it, you know, it, it goes out into uh, the room instead of just like one person. Like if you go into a room and you're like, oh my gosh, this energy sucks. Let me balance it out. Put this in your right hand and it's going to exude off of you. Put it in your left hand and you're going to receive it from the universe. So that's another thing to remember. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this put up on YouTube. I hope this helps somebody. And if you have any questions, leave your questions down below um, in the comments. And I will answer them the best way that I can. But just remember, Google is your best friend. And there's no one way to do this. You do what you feel in your heart and what feels right to you. Okay? All right, I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. I will talk to you soon, and I hope you're having a great day.